So as someone who's lived, let's say, kind of two lives, I mean, you, you started in the business world and came back to being an artist and maybe you've been an artist the entire time. If you could go back to, let's say, 17, 18 year old you, who just moved to Cincinnati, mm. how would you get to where you're at now faster in terms of like um, lensing? And obviously mm. your experiences have shaped you and all these kind of things, but let's say you want to help somebody else get to cinematography faster. Sure. What advice would you give based on what you've done? There's something that I, I didn't do because I didn't know, knew how to, or didn't know how to, or how to proceed with that was having a mentor. I, I never had one. Mm. I've been trying to not get one now, but I've been trying to find ways to to, to get into okay. some kind of mentorship because yeah, I think yeah. that never ends. I think someone who's super experienced can still have an, a mentor, yeah, yeah. but definitely someone who's you know trying to get through the ropes. And I, I, I would love to to have someone who would um, uh, give some solid advice yeah, on, yeah. On, on on how to proceed, and also someone perhaps who have been through some of the you know paths that I okay. think we have to go through. I would definitely try to do that. Mental. How I'm not sure, but also I do know that the industry nowadays is much different than it was uh, for the best. I think it has been improving a lot. Here in the UK, there's something called Screen Skills. Yeah. yeah. And they have all sorts of programs, including mentorships for different levels. Yeah. I would definitely try to do that. Um, and back then, I think because when I, let's say, came back or finally entered the industry or tried to, I was already 30 something. Mm -hmm. and, and then I felt the pressure to. I did a few jobs as a first AC, but I, I uh, didn't feel very comfortable doing that. I thought there was a, a full set of skills there that it was not what I have been learning or teaching myself mm. or trying to get the knowledge. It was very different and definitely not in the film school or anywhere that I've been through, uh, let's say, the educational yeah. system for film. Yeah. I never learned anything about being an AC, so I didn't feel, felt prepared, feel prepared enough. I If I would go back, I would try to do what I felt I couldn't 12, 15 years later, mm. which was a bit too late for me to go back and try to be a PA, a runner. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I would do. In camera department, camera trainee. Yeah. You know, and, and if you're a good camera trainee and if you're diligent, uh, it will happen. I just heard this week, the uh, I think on Dickens' podcast, uh, it's this girl called Monaya. Yeah. Abel, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right, but she was a camera trainee mm. on uh, Empire of Light. <gasps> really? Uh, with, yeah. And, yeah. And she was telling her story how, you know, different, uh, it's always random, but somehow she she was, uh, she went to Bristol and then mm. she wanted to, and that's what she did. She started to apply for things for everything. So that's the thing. You try to do everything. You're yeah. always going to learn something. And when you find out what you want to do, focus a bit more, but, yeah. you know, follow, you will end up doing uh, probably a lot of of jobs that you don't want to do or yeah, things yeah. that doesn't really you know look like what you want to be doing. But if you're serious, if you're committed, if you're a professional, you know, if you're respectful, mm. um, it, it happens. I, I truly believe in resilience, mm. and I think the sooner you start, the better. So if I would go back, definitely <laughs> I would, you know, put myself forward as to, to do anything. Yeah, yeah. And 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 also the pressure is a bit because you don't you know if you think oh okay I have whatever I have my whole life mm. and if it takes me five years being a camera trainee I'm sure I'm gonna suck all that information as much as possible for those five years so once I finally can jump to loader or to you know yeah second first and camera up great I never saw myself doing that and I know that some people they uh, they don't see themselves yeah, going yeah. through up, like how they say up the ladder on on the, on the camera department, uh, and also I think some people they are comfortable staying on certain positions, which I find an amazing. Mm. I really admire because like even I work with some people, some collaborators that uh, I, I sometimes ask them, "Would you like to perhaps jump to something else? Can I maybe help yeah, somehow?" Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes people say, "No, no, I like you know doing what I what I do." and and I find it amazing because I would never be able to do what they do. They do it so well, yeah, and, yeah. and they're such an integral part of the of the whole of the machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fair. Yeah. So mentorship, and you you'd start the ladder. You start at the bottom of the ladder and climb up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I think if you're young, yeah, yeah, I would that, definitely yeah, that suggest yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah. D different situations, yeah, I think yeah. you might jump straight. Yeah. But I think if you're young, I don't think jumping straight into uh, offering yourself as a DP. Also because, again, it, how does that play out, you know, for depending yeah. on what you're doing. But if you want to do narrative, yeah. it might work. But I guess why not? Plus, if you can learn, if you can go through those uh, uh, roles, yeah. it's going to be super helpful. I yeah. wish I knew more about, you know, 
how do you proper change the filter? Because I'm way too hands on, uh, and I bother everyone. Like yeah. I cannot see if I see something, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna, yeah. you know, and I cannot hold myself. I've been learning, uh, and I do do it because it's here, because it's Hindi. I know that in certain environments, yeah. I would have to. Yeah, you know, yeah, hold yeah. It there. You mentioned like American unions. Apparently, there oh, you, you can't do someone else as well. Because yeah, yeah. when you do, you're sending a message. That's what they believe yeah. that that person who was responsible for that is not doing their job oh, right. Oh, that's and Why is the DP there moving that? Is the grip not good enough? Yeah, to do it? yeah, yeah. So it, it's on them and they take it very seriously. I understand. Yeah. But I don't know how I would shoot a film without operating the camera. Yeah, yeah. I would because I'm always open to whatever. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, but I find it such a, an important, it's like half of the job is operating the camera because I'm reacting. And yeah. also from the acting, you know, stuff that I have, I'm reacting to what's happening there. At some point I'm even out of, I'm, I forget that I'm actually with the camera. I'm just like, you know, with them in the scene, especially yeah, yeah. if it's a handheld um Anyway, that's a different subject. No, no, yeah. I mean, we'll yeah. save that for episode two. But um, no, that's that's really tangible advice, man. Thank you for that.